Okay, welcome back to the shop. I'm Ray with Crafted by Ray, and today I'm going to be making enclosure for my laser engraver. I've had my laser engraver for a while, and it kind of shares the space with my CNC. I'd like to have its own little spot, probably in this corner. I'm going to see if I can make it fit. First, I'm going to have to take some stuff off the walls here, build it up. i got to leave a little spot here for my miter saw so I can cut boards that are longer than 8 feet. And then um, I'm probably going to drill a hole through the wall with a little fan that I got to help get the smoke out. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm just doing a little bit of tidying up here, getting rid of, um, moving some tools around, get rid of some old jigs and screws that were hanging on the wall. Um, you know, just sweeping up a little bit and uh, making room for the laser enclosure. Okay, now that I got this area cleaned up behind me, I am going to start making measurements and see if the laser will even fit in this spot. Okay, well, the laser and the enclosure does fit. I um, was surprised, but it does. Now, I'm cutting some 2x4s to make the structure of the framework for the enclosure out of and I was running low on 2x4s so I decided to split them in half to make two parts out of one right here as you can see I'm trying to find the center of the 2x4 Okay, I just attached this with uh, two screws and I countersunk them in using this new bit that I got from Craig that allows you to flip it, have a countersink, and then the Robinson screw bit on the end. I thought that was kind of neat. And then um, off camera, I cut these only because I forgot to hit record. Just like I did, I chopped them down to the height I needed and then ran them through the table saw so I can get two out of the piece of one because I'm running out of two by fours. So what I think I'm gonna do now is pocket hold these down to this and to the top one and then put the whole frame up against the wall. I just want to say, if you have not yet already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, give it a like, share the video, and we'll keep making an enclosure. Okay, what I'm doing here now is I'm starting the outside frame of the enclosure and the one up against the wall. Before I can move too far, I'm going to have to start thinking about the hole I want to put in my shop to ventilate the smoke. Okay, before I get too much farther along and attaching all this stuff that might get in my way, I gotta address cutting the hole in the wall because I want the smoke to go outside. Just don't know if I really wanna put a hole in my workshop. Well, I'm going for it. I'm just gonna 
cut a hole. I'm not sure how, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I'm going to attempt something that is probably wrong, but you know, I have this ring from a job that I did before a few months ago. I cut on the CNC. It's about the right size of the hole I need for the wall. I'm just going to trace this out and try freehanding it with this tool. And um, yeah, because I don't want to spend $40 on one hole saw just to cut two holes. So let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, I cut out this piece. Um, the nice thing is the pipe does fit. So now what I gotta do is I'm gonna try to cut out this insulation and save it so I can block up the hole in the winter so I don't lose too much heat through that whole hole. I don't think it'll be too bad, but. So I'm gonna cut that out and then I'm just gonna drill holes all the way around through the outside wall and try to connect the dots again with this tool. All right, I just got done adding the fan. Now, it worked out great, and I didn't have to buy a hole saw that size, so win-win. Now I'm just building the frame that goes around it and cutting the plywood that I'm gonna be using for the enclosure. Now, this is plywood I just had laying around, scrap from jobs I've been doing, and right here I'm marking out the spots that are going to be cut and notched around the 2x4s so it can fit in with a nice easy fit. Just like that. And I'll be screwing that down and pre-drilling it so that it doesn't move. Just like that, I have a box, and there's the top. Okay, I just added the lights to the box, and now I'm going to be tidying up some cords in here. All I did was pre-drill some holes, and it had little screws that came with it. I picked these uh, puck lights, five of them up over at the Home Depot. They're kind of chained together, and I'm going to finish doing that. So let's see what happens. I just wanted to say really quick, if you have not yet already, please hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. Share the video. Give it a like. And we'll keep making a uh, laser enclose, enclosure. Yeah, that's it. Laser enclosure. Now I'm just cutting pieces here and there to put on the edges. My uh, plan is to make a couple doors so I can access the laser and put parts in.
Now I'm getting ready to make the plexiglass little windows so I can look in and make sure everything's still running. Now you might be wondering why you want an enclosure. I was burning a bunch of black walnut or engraving it and I think there was like four or five hours of in my small room. My hands started turning purple the next day and then I was like I think it's time for me to build an enclosure. And this is the laser and while it's running that little fan is blowing up all the smoke and the nice thing is I can't even smell it. Most of the times I run it with the one door open so I can change out parts. Okay I just want to say thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it especially because you stuck to the end. Thank you. And I just want to say here it is and yes I painted it this greenish teal color. Uh, blue and this burnt orange door works fine everything's great and it works exactly how I like it now if you could do me a favor and click one of these videos somewhere around here and it'll take you to another video that I hope you'll like thanks again and I'll see you next time with another crafted by Ray video